Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld content. Uh, content's a little bit different, some bonus tutorial-ish content. Uh, we're getting ready to do a werewolf playthrough on the channel, and we're using two different werewolf mods. We're using werewolves, and we're using um, Mora Rim Blood Moon. And so I want the werewolves to uh, be more unified in appearance. So we're going to take the textures from the Blood Moon mod, and we're going to replace the Werewolf mod textures with those. Um, so just to kind of like get started and let you know, I'm not a modder myself. These might not be the best practices, but I'll show you how I'm going to accomplish changing these textures. And there's actually two different ways uh, to go about doing it. So I'll show you those two ways. So first up, you can see I have two kind of folders open. This is where like the Steam download of mods kind of like take place. And then this is the mod folder where I've copied all my mods over so that I have local copies of them so that we're not impacted by any mod updates during the playthrough. So I'm going to be making the changes in the local copies of the mods that I have. So the first thing that we need to do is, uh, well, one of, one of the first steps is we want to grab the mod ID, right? Because like none of these numbers really make sense to most of us here. Um, so if you go to the Steam Workshop, and take a look at the URL. You'll see that there's an ID at the very end of the URL or towards the end of the URL. There might be, if you were like searching, there might be like some search criteria that's in here. So I'm just gonna take that, copy paste it, put it in the search here, and we'll find the folder that has um, the werewolf stuff in it. So we're going to the textures folder here and sometimes you have to poke around. Uh, I know that like, of these three options, things makes the most sense. And we're finding ponds and we're finding animals, we're finding werewolves. And so we have the, what is it? The five different kinds of werewolves. Um, so if we take a look at Glabro, I had already grabbed the werewolf textures from, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? From the Blood Moon mod. And so the naming here is like pretty easy. Um, all we need to do or we could do this one of two ways. We could do this by renaming these textures to something else and then naming these textures uh, what was originally here. And so um, we can do that. It's just three textures. It's pretty easy to rename those. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I can click this guy. I think if you like double click it lightly, usually it gets engaged for being able to edit the name. Uh, or you can hit the like little rename button up here. So I'm just going to copy this. Ooh. I'm going to copy it so it's my clipboard and then I'm going to rename this. I'm just throwing an A at the end. And so this texture is supposed to be the east texture. I'm going to replace it. Simple as that. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. Uh, copy first and then we'll just kind of rename that. So this is the north texture. Done. And then just this last one copy first and then rename it and this is the south texture okay easy peasy just three files renamed and that should rename it in the game uh, we're gonna take a look at another one though so like metis you can see this name is like crazy long um and so you know if if you aren't copy pasting if you're trying to type this that that can be a mess uh we could just copy paste, do the same thing. The other way of going about changing this though, is we can hop into, um, back into kind of like the other parts of this mod or the, this file structure, right? So if we go back to textures, if we go back to the mod here and we go into 1.4 and defs, we can see we have this werewolf form defs and it might be that you have to like poke around in some of these. Uh, this was really easy to find. The mod maker did a really good job of kind of like organizing stuff for me. And so if we open this up in an application like Notepad++, we can see like uh, these are the defs for, for those werewolf forms themselves. Um, and so in each of these defs, there's going to be a path that says like, hey, this is where the picture is that you should be using for this form, right? And so for Metis, we can just do like a control find Metis. Okay, and so now we're down here at the def name Metis, and we can see 
this really long text string here. So if we go back to our folder, we're using the werewolf lord form. Um, and so instead of changing that file name three times, we can just say werewolf lord. Um, and it should go, okay, I'm going to look in this folder, pawn animal werewolf's metis, just kind of like how we, how we um, traveled to it before. And instead of looking for this long named file and the three different versions of it, the underscore east, north, and south, I'm going to look for werewolf lord, and I'll look for that underscore east, north, and south. Um, so two different ways to change a texture. Um, obviously, I got these textures by going into the the um, the Blood Rim mod, so or the Blood Moon mod. So if I find that really quick, um, we can find it over here. We can see common textures, things, pawn, animal, and werewolves. And so they have like all their pictures here in just this one folder. They're just like slightly named something different. Um, and so when I, I just like copied and pasted them over into the appropriate folder, right? Um, so pretty simple. Um, I'll show you guys kind of like what that looks like. Hold on, I don't think we're on the right save location. I don't think they have transformed yet. So let me load that, that version. Okay, we're here and here are some of them in their werewolf forms. You have a form. Um, do you have a form? You're also a werewolf. Um, so this is the old school werewolf forms. You can see though that I already adjusted the icons for them. Um, so like down here, the Glabro already has the kind of like gray wolf form. Um, okay, and so what I'll do is I'm going to quit out of RimWorld. I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of those changes to those file names or to where the um, def file is pointing to look for the pictures. And then I'll reload RimWorld and we'll come back and we'll take a look at them transforming into the new forms. Okay, we're back and you can see we have new forms. Uh, so let's transform you. Ooh, why are you... Uh, I guess he was down. Uh, what about you? Perfect. Okay. Um, you're doing good. You, you guys aren't werewolves. You're a prisoner. What about you? Perfect. Cool. So, these are some of the werewolf forms that we'll be using uh, during our playthrough. I went ahead and for for this I just like swapped out the textures because it was just three files to rename so I didn't save any changes when editing that text path I I get a little nervous uh, editing like the XML files even though like for the most part they're pretty readable they're pretty straightforward but the issue with editing XML files that can complicate things is that sometimes there are references from one file to another file um, so you want to be really careful what you're editing in those files and be really comprehensive uh, to maybe take a peek through some of the other files to see like oh is there a particular like label that this needs to be is there research you know if you're dealing with like items um, clothing apparel whatever um, that I might need to worry about um, for the most part well, we'll let these guys go um, we're gonna have our werewolves uh, just kind of like looking like the darker colored blood moon werewolves um, and then we will be using the Fenrir form from uh, the Vikings mod for kind of like a more bestial werewolf look and then there is like another form like the hidden form which is actually just a timber wolf uh, we'll leave that alone so um, yeah uh, if you guys have any questions or thoughts of like other tutorials that you'd like to see from me, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm not necessarily an expert when it comes to like modding mods, uh, but I managed to make some time and fiddle with things and get them working um, well enough. Uh, hopefully I'm not doing anything that's like too game breaking or anything. Mostly it's just like updating textures or sometimes there's like a particular like 
clothing item that I want, but I don't want a whole mod. So, you know, I'll incorporate that into a different mod. But there you have it. As always, thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys learned something and I'll catch you next time. Bye.